I never planned on losing my job, but losing my family's health insurance was an even tougher pill to swallow. So I looked into COBRA, but too pricey. Then I found out about special enrollment through Covered California, where I was able to choose from good health insurance companies I've actually heard of. I even got help paying for it. I had no idea someone was there for me. But Covered California really had my back. To see if you qualify or to find one of our local experts, visit CoveredCA.com. Covered California. It's more than just health care. It's life care. Do you want me to say some sort of inappropriate thing so you have to cut it? Yeah. Eat, sleep, fantasy. You rocking with the best. NFL fantasy football podcast. We talking mock drafts, running backs. Better follow the conversation with Dale, Christian, and Armando. Screaming, eat nation. We doing what we like. Tune in every week. Guarantee we get it hype. Fantasy football enthusiasts. I know you plan to be joining us on Eat, Sleep, Fantasy. Yeah. Eat, sleep, fantasy. Eat, sleep, fantasy. All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Eat Sleep Fantasy Football Podcast, also known as the Count Chocula of Fantasy Football Podcasts. My name is Christian Brito. Joining me as always on this lovely pod is Mr. Dale DeMott. Que hola, Dale. Yeah, what's up? We are the uh, Count Chocula of Fantasy Football Podcast. I'm going to be honest with you, I've never even tasted Count Chocula, but because it's Halloween time... I guess we have to be some type of Halloween themed all all month. Uh, Count Chocula is basically chocolate Lucky Charms. Okay, I'm down with that. I never tried it's, it. It's pretty good. It's chocolate. Yeah, that's pretty much exactly what it is. It's quite. I'm good. gonna. I'm gonna. Uh, by the way, uh, thanks for listening, everybody. Eat Sleep Fantasy Football <laughs> Podcast. We're just gonna go right into talking <laughs> about cereals and not mention anything about the show or who we are. We'll get to the fantasy football in just a couple minutes, but I feel like we need to talk about this. Yeah, yeah. Um, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook, and we are on Anchor as well, dropping date. We're trying to drop daily stuff as as often as we can, but uh, we're on there as well. Christian, um, two things really quick. I, I like that you brought up the topic of cereal because I saw a picture on the internet, and I don't know if it's a thing. And was and it this... with naked ladies in the picture? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. um, Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. No. I don't know if this okay. is a thing or not, but apparently there are savages out there that pour milk into a bowl and then pour cereal on top of the milk. Did you? Is that a thing? Wrong. That's just wrong. I'm gonna that... go with you here. Yeah, yeah. That that's just crazy, wrong. Right? Yeah. Do you want me to put this on a poll and see how absurd? Yes. Yeah. That yeah, is. Ahead. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I Let's saw. Just do that. I saw a thing. It, it, you fill the the uh, bowl with uh, like half half milk, and then you pour the cereal on top of it. That just sounds like totally wrong. Everything that you've known in life is just it, and it's just backwards. It it really had me really thinking my life, thinking if I was doing it right. I haven't tried it yet, and I don't think I'm going to. All right, so this is how I'm wording the poll. Let me know if this is fine. Limited on characters here. How do you serve a bowl of cereal? Pour cereal, then milk. Pour milk, then cereal. Yeah. Sound good? Yeah. Let's see how many savages there are out there. There's going to be the idiots that click it, but um, so you, you take that with a grain of salt, right? That people are going to just pick the wrong one. I'll but be I'll honest. On that poll. When you told me that we were going to talk about cereal to open today's show, because Believe it or not, Dale actually plans out these segments a lot of times. <laughs> um, this is not the direction I thought I was going to go. <laughs> I told you. You immediately I, said, we got to talk Reese's Cocoa Puffs or whatever he said. I told you, we got to talk Reese's Puffs. Yeah. We got to talk about General Mills versus uh, Kellogg's. Yeah, there's a lot of rankings here in cereal. Cereal is a touchy subject. Um, I feel like brand loyalty, I think in, for cereal it's there more than probably most other food items that you buy from the grocery store. Cause like, you start, you start eating cereal when you're a kid. Right. And then it's like that nostalgia. Like you wake up and you got a bowl of, you know, cinnamon toast crunch or whatever you're eating. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Like you're going to eat cinnamon toast crunch and you're probably not going to eat any other cinnamon cereals. Like that's how I am. Right. And like, you know, I've, uh, when I was in college, I tried to eat, the cheap cereal, I'm going to sound like a real entitled asshole here. The ones that come in the bag? Yeah, yeah. 
I'm sorry. They, like now I, they serve the good cereals in the bag too. By the way. Oh, do they? Yeah. See, like the same exact ones. Like Kellogg's has them in the bags now. I guess that because you can buy them like bulk. Right. Right. In a bag. Right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I've tried. I tried to eat them, and I'd rather be broke and get cinnamon toast crunch than uh than get like the cinnamon toast crunch off brand. I just I couldn't do it. Um. So. <laughs> The reason I actually wanted to talk about Reese's Puffs, and I promise we're going to get to fantasy. I'm just, I promise you. <laughs> I swear. This is what we do, by the way. But the reason is um, I was eating a bowl of cereal. Like I served myself a bowl of cereal today, came to the couch, sat down with it, and my wife was like, oh, it's a nice bowl of cereal you got there. You know? Mm-hmm. And um, that's that's how she started her sentence. Like, hey, let me get some, basically. And then she was like, it's not that peanut butter Reese's stuff, is it? <laughs> because she doesn't really like peanut butter Reese's stuff. Right. And so I was like, you should try it. It's really good. Mm-hmm. It's basically a super sugary peanut butter and chocolate right. cereal. Right. If you're on a diet, don't eat cereal pretty much, right? <laughs> right. And she had the audacity to tell me that it was, quote, terrible. That's, uh, I've had the Reese's cereal and it is good because I do like peanut buttery stuff. Um, so that's crazy that, like, I don't go out and buy it, but I wouldn't say it's bad to, for somebody to try it and say it's bad. Is it dangerous for me to give out my wife's Twitter handle? Uh, yeah, we have some questionable, questionable people following us. I'm not sure you want those same questionable people knowing who your wife is. Yeah, and she got a public profile, so let me just stop talking about it. Yeah. Um, so far, we've gotten uh, 25 votes on our poll in the first three minutes, um, and 24 of them pour their cereal before they pour the milk. Okay, that's good. Maybe okay. it's not. Maybe it's, maybe it was just a crazy thing. There, there. I'm sure there's a couple of people that do it, which is nuts. Uh, guys, we are talking uh, streaming today. We're going streaming. We're talking about quarterbacks, some tight ends. I like to I like to uh, stream my tight ends and maybe some defense and kickers thrown in there too for you. Uh, we do have a our targets and touches comparisons. I don't know if we're going to get that to to that today. We might dedicate that to one entire pod tomorrow. But either way, uh, we want to sincerely thank everybody for listening to us, writing, emailing, tweeting, all that good stuff. Uh, we don't get a chance to get back to every single person. But uh, we really appreciate it. I just want to take the time out to say thank you. A couple of the replies to our tweet say, I don't use bowls. I use a big-ass Flanagan's cup. That's from <laughs> Eli Superfly. <laughs> um, Matt Hilario says, do you wipe your ass back to front? Let's move on. <laughs> I had to think about it for a second. You need to be on a watch list if you pour your milk first from Rodney Martin. What? You need to be on some sort of watch list if you pour your milk first. Yeah, 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 for sure. It's weird. Certifiably insane. Yep. All right. All right, well, again, um, do we have any housekeeping to take care of today? Oh, oh, I I finally got all our decals. Um, That's a bag of decals. Uh, So I'm going to be sending these out to everybody. Can you do that one more time? Just one more time, because that did not sound like a bag of decals. It's what funny. does that actually sound like? I don't know. It sounds like a tweet at Dale underscore fantasy. What you think that sounds like. Let's play that one more time. Hey, this is Dale from 104.1. No, Dale, uh, we are doing secret sound. Sa- wriggle wriggle Sec- the bag. We're doing secret sound of the day. If you can guess this sound in the next 10 minutes, you get a free pair of Red Hot Chili Peppers tickets. Please don't do that. We got a caller. Caller, what do you think it is? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, my name is Scott. I'm from uh, Mississippi. And nice. uh, that uh, a long-time ca- uh, listener, first-time caller, want to say I love the show. Um, first of all, I want to say what do you think about them Cowboys and, uh, you know, that loss to the Packers, giving them the ball. To Aaron Rodgers with a minute left, but uh, if I had to guess a secret sound, I say uh, that sounds like uh, 
some sort of uh you know croc crocodile shoes being rubbed. Is that oh, right? Hey, color. Oh man, that was a wrong guess for you. Try it back tomorrow when we give you clue number two to the secret sound. Well, I'll be a ball raccoon in the middle of winter with a porcupine. <laughs> All right, we can stop this. Did I go too far with that? <laughs> <laughs> Got weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Um. So let's get into. I really wish we didn't do that. Yeah, I, I, I might. I, I might hated just delete every it every second of that. That was pretty bad. It was awful. Let's leave it. <laughs> All right. Let's talk about I say it's I say it's awful. It's awful for everyone else. Yeah, I oh, enjoyed yeah. the fuck out of that. Oh yeah, yeah. I had a big smile <laughs> on my face the entire time. I couldn't wait right. to use a drop. <laughs> All right. uh, By the way, uh he wasn't lying when he said he didn't like the drops after our episode aired um with all the drops from uh yesterday. He uh he said go easy on the drops that I was too I was too much. So I'm gonna go easy. You said that me? Yeah, you said that. You yes. said it was a little excessive. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> All right. I mean, because, right. look, I have two choices. The choice is yours. Uh-huh. So, I'm just saying. The choice is yours. You can- that. Sorry. Cause- what is this bread toast scale thing that you posted? Uh, I don't know. It was a picture of all kinds of different um, toastiness of breads. And if you like bread burnt, something is wrong with you. I feel like the same person that pours milk, then cereal is the same person that eats burnt toast. Right. It's toast, not burnt. We're, that's not what we're talking about. All right. Uh, we got some news. We got some stuff to talk about that we haven't talked about just yet. And um, we're going to start there. And then, like you mentioned, we have a lot to talk about in terms of streamers and guys that you can kind of pick up for, you know, this week or, you know, for now to fill in gaps while we have bye weeks. Uh, a couple pieces of news. Mr. Trubisky. Hold on, hold on. Say, say that again. A couple pieces of news. Um, so let's start with a big piece of news that really doesn't feel like a big piece of news that started today. Adrian Peterson traded from the New Orleans Saints to the Arizona Cardinals. Chris Johnson subsequently released by the Cardinals. Um, any of this matter at all? Uh, Adrian Peterson news for sure. Look, Andre Ellington still holds his value in PPR. I don't, nothing else. I mean, let's be honest, be, beyond PPR, uh, Andre Ellington is nothing. Adrian Peterson, he's not the Adrian Peterson of old that we all loved, but being an early downs back for the team with a really bad O-line, I think if if he gets 12, 15 touches, is that crazy to say that he can get 12 to 15 touches? Yes, it's too much. Flex worthy on good matchups? Okay. Yes, but they're going to quickly find out that he's not good. Yeah. Anymore. Maybe. That's sad. It's sad, but he's, I mean, he's hes an older guy who, you know, clearly didn't. <laughs> he is not just a normal guy. <laughs> I said an older guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> he's an older running back, and that yes. happens. its its It happens fast in the NFL. Do you think uh, Chris Johnson can run faster than uh, Adrian Peterson? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. What else do you have? Uh, Brandon Marshall is now out for the season. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Let, let's talk about uh, subsequent. Um... Impact for the Saints? Yes. Okay. Uh, Alvin. So. Yeah, go ahead. I want to hear what you have to say. Uh, what I have to say is it kind of cleans up a little bit for Mark Ingram. Uh, I think Kamara is going to keep his role pass catching guy. Uh, a couple carries here and there. Um, his the It's a lazy way to do this, but the Sproles role of years past. Um, and then Mark Ingram will still be the, the early downs guy and kind of go back to being what we saw him be last year. So um, from this point on, I think Mark Ingram is the guy that, looks really good to me and a lot of people are still not really buying in on him yeah i like uh out of all this i think ingram stays about the same where he was last game we saw adrian peterson get four carries in my head and in my notes that i have for adrian peterson 
I kind of already written them off. I didn't see much value in Adrian Peterson Correct. after that game. I don't care what the coaches were saying. I know right after the game, I think they were talking him up a little bit, you know, probably to give him a little bit more confidence. But um, Mark Ingram was about the same for me. The guy who gets a little bit more confidence is Alvin Kamara, who was or you know is and was a top twenty value in running back and in PPR maybe mm. top fifteen guy. It's a little a little high for me, but okay. I get where you're going with this. Yeah, and I, I'm he was around that last time uh, before this cut, and now that I mean before the trade, and now that you know he got traded, I think uh, I think it cements his place there. I like Kamara, Al- Alvin Kamara is a top twenty running back. So Kamara, and, before um, before any of this, um, Mike Mark Ingram was getting about fifteen touches a game between rushing attempts and and receiving um, yeah, and receptions per game. Alvin Kamara getting about nine touches a game. So now, what does that do for me in terms of? Those four, five, six touches that Adrian Peterson was getting, I actually think most of them go to Ingram, not Kamara. So I see Ingram getting 15 to 20 touches a game, Kamara going to 10 to 12 touches a game, and, you know, the occasional one or two touches going to whoever. Uh, But you really think Kamara top 20 based off of 10 to 12 touches a game? Yeah, I do. I mean, look at his target share. Uh from just the last couple of games, I think he had. Did he have nine targets last game? I believe. That's a pretty. Right. That, that's a lot in this offense. So yeah, ten ten catches. Ten catches. Uh, ten targets. Ten catches. Okay, there you go. Yeah, so averaging seven targets a game right now. I think any for running back is a lot. Yeah, any for any position, ten targets is a lot. Now you're putting in a running back who can also run the ball if needed. So. You're ranking Kamara rest of season around what eighteen? That's fair. Uh, I okay. will. I'll, I'll ranking, give you a definite Ingram? answer. What's that? For you ranking Ingram rest of season standard or PPR? Just say. Half let's point. say. <laughs> let's say PPR. Okay, PPR. I'll I'll have. Uh, I'll probably have Ingram above that just by a spot or two. Okay. Um, I think you're forgetting that Mark Ingram is still pretty good pass catcher. Yes. It's the one thing that saves his value, I think, in PPR leagues. In a PPR league, he scored double digit fantasy points every week this year. Okay. 12.1, 11.6, 10.6, 10. 10.2. It's not blowing you out of the water. It's not amazing, but five catches, four catches, two catches, four catches. Yeah. No, every it... week he'll give you, you know, four catches. Sure. I get it. End of the year, he'll have 50. 55 catches. I get it. And, and and that's one of the reasons why I have him ranked a little bit ahead of Kamara. But don't... I mean, he's not top 12. No. I agree. Not okay. top 12. Okay. But he's an RB2, and I, I, I don't think Kamara is. No. Really? In a PPR, yes. In a standard league, no. Okay. That's diff- this, this discussion is quite different in PPR because Kamara is going to be catching even more than that. It was seven targets a game... You imagine he's going to get at least five catches a game. That's a pretty damn nice number as a pass-catching running back for the Saints. Um, PPR, top 24 lock. I, I'd say he's probably around 17 or 18 rest of the season for me in a PPR. But in a standard, it's significantly lower. Okay. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. We can move on. Okay. You're, you're the news guy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you know, wasn't done, but, you know. <laughs> Can't spend that much time on it, I guess. So fuck you, Dale. It started getting boring. Um, you're getting boring. I didn't say you. I just said the topic. Fantasy football is interesting. How dare you, Dale? <laughs> Let's talk about cereal. <laughs> um, Andrew Luck is already ruled out for week six. Yep. This is going to be uh, an ongoing thing till like week 12. And then, like you said before, they're going to bring him and be like, uh... Is it worth even starting him? Yeah. Andrew Luck just wants to get Chuck Pagano fired. Do we want to talk about Monday Night Football? It was rough to watch. Yeah, it was rough. Vikings Vikings offense looked bad. Yep. Diggs, um, you know, got a little bit banged up. We'll, you know, keep you posted on that. We don't really have 
much news in terms of his injury. Um, there hasn't been much reported. We got to wait on those practice reports Wednesday, Thursday, Friday to see what happens. But uh, it was a groin injury. Um, he it seems like he's probably going to be ready to go because he he was able to you know return. It seems like he was you know, ready to play more in that game. But uh, I'd say he's probably going to go this week. Um, if he doesn't, it really doesn't change my value for Adam Thielen one way or the other. Um, so that's Actually, all I got to say about that. I want to give a shout out to our writer, Mikey. I think he coined a phrase that, or a term, I guess, that I think is going to catch on with okay. Adam Adam Thielen uh, truthers or Adam Thielen believers are referenced as uh, the the lever. Oh, man, I screwed that up. The levers. The levers. The levers. The levers. That's pretty good. The levers. Yeah. So. Like like believers. Yeah. Or or be like be, be, beavers. Believers. <laughs> believers. <laughs> yeah. We we just screw the pooch on that. Uh, you screw the pooch. <laughs> I love the pooch, but not in that way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 Uh, what is that called? There's a word for that. Uh, bestiality. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag five minute member. <laughs> hashtag bestiality. <laughs> there's, a, there's another word for it. Hashtag um, love the pooch. <laughs> hold on. Uh, Don't ever say that you love the pooch again, please. Because people uh, take that serious and they might never listen to it. Uh, zoophilia. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's just. What's the difference between zoophilia and bestiality? Uh, probably the type of animals that you have sex with. Zoophilia. Folk- I shouldn't have clicked this. There's like a statue <laughs> of a guy fucking a goat. <laughs> Let's just move on. All right. Good Lord. That's like a weird turn. So, wh- who do we talk about after uh, zoophilia? So, actually. Um... That's pretty much going to wrap up the news for now. Not much else. We'll keep you posted on injury stuff. Um, and before we get into our streamers and stuff, I think uh, Dale wants to t- just take a second and tell our listeners about Draft. Yeah. Uh, if you guys, I hope that you heard about it by now because we've talked about it pretty much every podcast. Not only because they're good partners of ours, but because we really like the app and really like the product. We really urge you to join Draft using promo code Eat Sleep Fantasy and uh, follow myself, ESF Dale, and Brito, ESF Brito. And we do a ton of drafts, and whoever follow us, uh, follows us, we um, we invite you to the drafts that we do anywhere from like, sometimes I just do one on one drafts with somebody for like a buck just for fun. And uh, sometimes we'll do like a 10 team league or whatever, you know, 10 team draft. And basically it's like, typical dfs that you're used to but you draft instead of picking players out of lineups so if you like drafting in the beginning of the season basically you can do it over and over again every week and just for that week so it's pretty fun Uh, the format is two running backs two wide receivers or tight ends and one quarterback so it's pretty fun and the best of all um draft just emailed me a couple days ago and said that they're giving a hundred dollar i'm sorry they're guaranteeing your uh that you'll like it or your money back up to $100. So if you're interested at all about what I just said, definitely either go to the website, playdraft.com slash eat sleep fantasy, or just download the app in your app stores or whatever phone you have and use promo code eat sleep fantasy. And, um, and yeah, we'll invite you to drafts. And I think it's a great way to interact with our audience. It's awesome. It is the best DFS app that I have on my phone. It is my favorite thing. And I'm not just saying that because I keep taking my listeners' money every week. Yeah. And you guys are getting somewhere. pwned. <laughs> uh, I did horrible last week. I'm ashamed of myself. I did great. Yeah. I Now, if Stefan Diggs would have done anything last night, I would have done just amazingly. I would have like quadrupled my money in a week, but uh pretty much doubled it last week. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. All right. Uh, so there's that. There's that. It was fun. Yeah. So definitely check it out, guys. 
It's fun. And oh, it, well, I, I didn't even mention, but if you use our promo code, you get $3 free to play a free game. So you can test it out basically for free for $3 and you have a chance to win some money. So why not? Yep. Please uh, use that promo code. Why not get a free game in? Exactly. And Unless you already yeah. downloaded it and deposited money. In that case, just look for us and follow us. And then, we'll, right. and then you can try to beat us. ESF Dale, ESF Brito. Bam. That is, that's easy. Brito, not Dang. Burrito. Brito, B R I T O. Yeah, ESF. B is in boy, R is in Roger, I is in whatever I is, T is in Tom. No. O is in God. what your mom says. <laughs> no, T is tango. You got to say the right words. Okay, bravo, Roger. I don't know what I is again. <laughs> tango. I Omega? Is that probably, what O is? Probably, yeah. <clears throat> you, you used to make a lot of like people really angry listening to this, and they're screaming at their... I'm sure they are, but I'm not informed in that. I'm informed in cereals <laughs> and bestiality, apparently. And zoo, uh, zoophilia. Stop pretending like you don't know it. <laughs> what is that word? Uh, the word you said. <laughs> well, the Vikings fucked the Bears, so there you go. That had, that's how you tie Can, it into fancy. Give your, give yourself a a good joke sound because that was a good joke. <laughs> All right, let's talk some streamers here. Let's start with quarterbacks, okay? Quarterback. Quarterback in it. I guess the first guy to talk about, he's probably the the biggest streamer because he's owned in such low percentage of leagues, but it's Jacoby Brissett for me. Uh, he's, Brissett. What did he's I not say? a brisket. He said Brissett because you're hungry. Brissett, Brissett. It's like tomato, tomato. I may or may not have a lasagna in the oven right now, so we got to speed this up, Dale. <laughs> All right, anyways. Uh, I wish he, it was a brisket. He is uh, playing the Titans this week. The Titans are not very good against quarterbacks. <laughs> that's, that's the best way to put it. The Titans is equals bad against quarterbacks and great for your fantasy quarterback. <laughs> Except for Jay Cutler because he doesn't count. I I like Brissett, uh this week to stream. Also really like T.Y. Hilton. He's going to be climbing up my ranks little by little. Seems like Brissett, Brissett can get him the ball. Actually, Hilton. Oh, boy. Hilton's accounted for almost half of Brissett's gross passing yards over the last three games. So, uh, Jacoby Brissett with this matchup is probably going to end up when I finalize my rankings inside my top ten of the quarterback position. Yeah, and you can get him as a streamer this week. Yep. Yeah, I mean he's he's done well with the the play that he's. I don't know how to put it, but you know, you get what I'm saying. He's good. Yep. And he's a good, good he's a good matchup this week. It's good. Uh Case Keenum is still out there, owned in right. less than five percent of leagues in pretty much every single format that you're playing in. Playing the Packers right. should do very well, even with I don't know if Jerry McKinnon's emerged or not, but he's definitely heavily inv- in, involved in the passing game now. And that just helps Case Keenum. Case Keenum's pretty good. He's done well. Uh, yeah, another good matchup here. Um, but you know, uh, keep an eye out. Not sure how much you can trust him, but yeah, just Case Keenum. Well, keep an eye out for Diggs. If Diggs is playing, it definitely helps him. If not, maybe steer away from him. But Case Keenum has played okay, pretty good, admirably. Yeah, yeah, admirably. Yeah, yeah. There you go. For a backup quarterback, I yeah. think you're pretty happy. I, I, I think right now. You kind of rather see Case Keenum start this game this week than you would uh, Sam Bradford. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And Green Bay, they you know, like I said, they're playing Green Bay, and they allowed uh, 66% completion rate to opposing passers this season. Right. All right. Bottom. It's not an ama- It's not Tennessee Titans, but it's a bottom half pass defense, um, and he should do well enough in this matchup. There you go. Um, I, a couple guys that have good matchups that are still widely available, Carson Palmer, great matchup this week if for some damn reason Deshaun Watson is still available in your league because your league mates don't believe that which is fucking ridiculous but best possible matchup you can have against Cleveland and also the best fantasy quarterback since he started yes um but that's not a guy that we really should be mentioning in the streamers um oh hey here's a teaser I will mention a Texans player in the streaming portion of the podcast so stay tuned but uh, here's here's my option here. Aside from Brissett, who was the number guy, number one guy here, 
Um, and Palmer, who's widely available and I think is still a good streamer. Trevor Simeon. I know the Giants haven't been the best matchup to play, but Denver's coming off a bye. Simeon's been pretty decent, mm-hmm. except for the last time that I recommended him. Sure. <laughs> Um, and the Giants, man, I just don't see them being able to do anything at all on offense with no wide receivers, banged up running backs. Like, the the Broncos are going to have the ball all game long. Yep. That time of possession is going to be so lopsided. And it's not like the Gi- Giants' defense is super scary. They're actually a bottom-half defense in, in uh, schedule-adjusted fantasy points allowed. So... Their matchup ranking, along with Denver coming off a bye, along with how I think the game flow is going to go, I like Trevor Simeon as an option this week. And he's, you know, super widely available. But Brissett, again, a guy that you could probably get for pretty much, you know, nothing. Yeah. Uh, I do he's want to mention, one guy. speaking he's of the Broncos, it's it might be a little bold, but C.J. Anderson is going to be a top eight running back for the week for me. Ooh. Just early rankings, top eight right now. I like them a lot. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, That's very high. Can you can you explain? Like, I'm just waiting for you to tell me why. Well, we'll, we'll do some uh, – it, well, okay. I'll, I mean, I'll kind of give you a quick breakdown, and it's almost exactly what you said. The Broncos are going to have the ball a ton. They're going to control the clock. They're going to control the game. There's going to be no need to go above and beyond getting four yards at a time. And uh, C.J. Anderson is going to be a big part of that. I mean, I have I'll have C.J. Anderson above Lamar Miller, above Mark Ingram. I'll have him okay. above probably above Melvin Gordon actually, and I've ranked Melvin Gordon very high week to week. And this is a week I'm going to have C.J. Anderson above him. So, okay, C.J. Anderson. Uh, fair enough. I don't have a problem with anything you just said. Okay. I'm looking at it. Uh, just, um, I mean, just the game sh- game script. I think is going to really favor C.J. Anderson this week. He's probably going to end up inside my top ten as well. Just looking at it right now. Okay. Uh, probably not going to rank him over Gordon, just because I think Gordon has more opportunity to score. Um, but he's right there after Hunt, Fournette, Gurley, Bell. He's right there with Gordon, Freeman, Miller. That's the group he's in for this week. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, if you want to start talking about some tight ends, I think I know we've seen flashes of Austin Hooper do well. I think this is a, a game that you can start Austin Hooper against the Giant, uh, against the Dolphins. Right. Uh, against the Giant turd. I mean, yeah. <laughs> against the Dolphins. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Whose defense hasn't been bad, but yeah. They, their defense is in the bottom 10. Along, against among tight ends. Tight end, yeah, against tight ends. So. Yeah. All right. All right. Fair and enough. Austin Hooper is a very good pass catcher. Uh, the guy okay. the guy I want to talk about on the Texans is Ryan Griffin. If he's still owned in your league, man, you got to pick him up. If, if you're streaming tight ends. 6% ownership, you're good. Yeah, I mean, if you're, you got to pick up Ryan Griffin. He One, he's pretty good. Deshaun Watson has been throwing a ton of balls and a ton into the end zone. If Deshaun Watson keeps playing the way he has been, the Browns have allowed five touchdowns to tight ends in the last five games. So now's a chance to play him and cash in. Um, For me, and probably might be wavered by the time you hear this, but in plenty of leagues, he's still going to be widely available, uh, is Ed Dixon. Greg Olson is on IR. He came out and showed up last week with his five catches for 175 yards um cam newton seems to seems to like him and now he's playing the eagles this week which is neither a great matchup nor a poor matchup they're right in the middle of the pack but he's a guy he's again we're recording this late late tuesday night you guys will hear it uh wednesday morning so your waivers may have already processed but he's only taken in about 5% of leaks. Right. So get Ed Dixon. You're probably going to have a top 12 tight end for as long as Greg Olson is out, which might be the rest of the season. I, I, I don't think he's going to come back this no, year. No, I have. I don't have any hard data to support that, but I don't believe so either. Yep. 
Uh, okay, are you trading for Ed Dixon? Let's do a little... Uh, no. You're, are you trying to get Ed Dixon, like... It, say if you're streaming and you can get Ed Dixon for... No. No. Not even trying. Not worth it. Okay. All right, fair enough. What would you... Like, okay, fine. Tell me what you would think you would have to give up to get him. I think you could get him for pretty much nothing. Yeah. I, people don't believe. I don't think there's many people that believe. No. no. Okay. We can move on. A couple of a couple of other tight ends here. Austin Safarian Jenkins against New England. We saw him catch a touchdown last week. He saw him lead the Jets in terms of catches and targets. Um, I don't believe in his talent, but I believe in the opportunity right now for the Jets, and I believe in the matchup, so... There you go, Austin, Austin Safarian Jenkins for this week. Yeah, I mean Austin Safarian Jenkins probably the third option on this list. Yeah, I mean, and don't forget, I mean, we kind of we didn't talk about it. And I don't think he's worth it. But if you have a really deep league and you're starving for a quarterback, Josh McCown isn't. He's not going to be a priority for me. But if you need somebody, he's playing against the Patriots. And uh, the Patriots can be scored on. I don't care what team you're, you have or what team you're playing, you know, rooting for. The Patriots are going to get scored on. So Josh McCown has a good chance to throw a couple touchdowns, I think, in this game. Yeah. And it doesn't matter who your – I can't do this. I, I want to do a joke that your mom's going to get scored on, but – Yeah, thanks. <sighs> didn't have it in me, <laughs> but your mom did. Oh, that's good. That's good. I like that one. All right. We should just go. Uh, yeah. uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm not bringing it with the jokes today, man. It's okay. It's okay. It's my fault. Hey, not everybody. My fault. Not everybody. Can. You started the show by talking about cereal, and that that's clearly the high point of the episode, right? <laughs> then there was some valleys there that we had to talk about fantasy football yeah. for some reason. But it peaked right again when we started talking about, you know, goat sex. Mm-hmm. BCI. So that's cool. Zupo. Um yeah, that's that's awesome. <laughs> and then it went back down when we had to start talking about streaming tight ends for some reason. But now, right now, I had the opportunity to uh, you know really bring it home with a you know joke about somebody nailing your mom, and I yeah, missed it. Just totally swing and a miss. Swing and All miss. Right. Defenses. I'll just kind of go through these really quick. The Chargers at Raiders. Mm. Derek Carr probably won't be back this week, and that offense hasn't looked hot regardless. So. That's a decent matchup. The Bucks are playing at the Cardinals. And like we said, the Cardinals, their entire offense is in shambles, it feels like. Their offensive line can be knocked down by one person. So uh, that's a decent matchup. I got a really simple one here, Dale. Sure. The Atlanta Falcons. Yep. Playing. Who, who do they play? The Dolphins? They're playing the Miami Dolphins. Yep. And like your mom, everybody scores. That was bad too. We should just we should. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's the defenses. Let me just go through kickers really quick. I'm, I'm we won't get into really analysis, but some of the good kickers for this week, I think. Um, obviously, you never give any of the kickers analysis. No love. <laughs> uh, fair, fair. Barn, is that you say fair his name? Barn. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Houston kicker. He's playing Cleveland, like we mentioned. Uh, some of the other guys that maybe aren't owned, Patrick Murray playing against Arizona. Uh, he's a Tampa Bay kicker now. <laughs> what is it, their third or fourth kicker this season? Right. And I'll pick one more guy for you. Uh, Harrison Bucker. Kansas City kicker playing Pittsburgh. I think all those guys are pretty decent. You can stream. I'll give you one, and I think this is the best one you can pick up, and I'm probably going to pick them up in my leagues. Will Lutz for the Saints, highest over under for Vegas right now at 50 points with the Saints versus Detroit, and the Saints are coming off a bye. Nice. So I think there's going to be a lot of points in this game. So I'm going to pick up Will Lutz in a lot of my Good leagues call. to just play. Good call. The game. I like it. Yep. Okay. Don't steal that. <laughs> I feel like I have to do that with Dale whenever I say stuff I on just the podcast. It. Like, don't steal that, Dale. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, with the poll, 144 votes, 6% say that they pour milk, then cereal. But then somebody replied and said, oops, I hit pour milk, then cereal. I'm not a monster. So. Uh, uh, so it really seems like people, man, the people that do it the correct way, 
I understand. That's the right way of doing it. But uh, have a very negative view of people that do it the wrong way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> milk first. Here, this one is from uh, Vivian that says, Milk first is some human wear... No, damn it. Milk first is some wear human skin as, some, as a coat type shit. <laughs> That's creepy. Hey, Vivian, by the way, uh, if you are listening... I- it's hard to tell who's listening and who is just, you know, following us. But her bio says you're never going to meet somebody that loves Seinfeld and the Wu Tang Clan. I'm pretty sure you love both. Yes. Right? So I think that's uh, okay. Yeah. No. I like neither. <laughs> uh, so Vivian, you just met. Oh some... God. What? Okay, Dale, stop trying to hit on our Look, listener. Look, I actually, Christ, actually, I was going to tweet at her and said, "Hey," I, but then I actually wrote the tweet. I said, "Whoa, that sounds like I'm hitting on her," and I don't want to start that. Yep. yep. Let's not do that. <laughs> I just saved you right Thanks. there. You should probably cut this, <laughs> Vivian. If you're listening, we appreciate you, and uh, I love Seinfeld and the Wu Tang Clan. So, whoa, I'm glad you said that, and not I love you, because <laughs> that would have been weird. Too far, man. And I've looked at every single picture uh, on social media, and I've fallen in love with wow. you. And I want to leave my wife and the baby for wow. you, based off your wow. Twitter profile. I am crop. I am <laughs> taking that, a hundred percent taking that audio and playing it um, <laughs> as an opening for another episode, and then as the closing for that episode is going to be the splattering <laughs> sound. So hold on, let me just get the minute. Okay. Okay. You don't think I'm writing this down. By the way, last episode, we were the aggro crag, a fantasy football podcast. And uh, yeah. we have some people that know what an aggro crag was. So um, joke's on you. Are you shocked that in 38 minutes, we got 146 votes on a poll about cereal? <laughs> uh, people will vote for anything. But people vote more like... Our, my poll of Todd Gurley and Leonard Fournette didn't do as well as my poll on cereal. Okay, look, I'm starting a poll. Will you vote on anything? <laughs> that's that's going to have 20 votes before we end the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right. All right. Okay. Um, again, guys, if you, uh, if you are interested in uh, following us on social media, on Twitter, we're Eat Sleep FF. Instagram, Facebook, we're on there as well. Just search for Eat Sleep Fantasy on both those platforms. We're on Anchor. Uh, we, I am sending out uh, decals. And if you want a decal, actually, go to our website, eatsleepfantasy.com. There's a little, um, a little drop-down box that, said, uh, that says, I don't know, free stickers or something like that. Just use the Internet. If you know what you're doing on the Internet, you'll find it. And just give me your address and name and address, and I will send you a sticker. It's on us. Um, and I just got a bunch. The secret sound of the day, by the way, this is a hint. So you can try to guess what that is. And uh, yep. and I'll send you some. Yep. Uh, remember, use if you're going to reply to our tweets and you want a chance at winning prizes, which we're going to just continue giving out, usually as a t-shirt, um, reply to our tweet within five minutes and use hashtag five minute member. And um, so far on the poll, 75% say yes, they will vote on anything. <laughs> 25% said no. <laughs> the no doesn't even make sense. You're literally... God, there's there's people on Twitter that think, follow us that are really they're... into fantasy football and they they oh. hate us. Dude, I'm going to give you I'm going to give you our last like 10 tweets, okay? Mm-hmm. All right, so the last tweet obviously was, will you vote on anything? <laughs> the tweet before that was, how do you serve a bowl of cereal? <laughs> the tweet before that was you tweeting on a chart of how to cook, um, like different uh, grades of, um, you know, how cooked your toast is, how toasted it is. And the picture before that is a meme that you made that, you know, <laughs> the picture before that is um, a conversation that you and I had about the cereals that we're going to talk about <laughs> on this pod. The tweet before that is a bunch of memes that we made with a cow that looks angry. And then finally, the tweet before that is a fantasy football-related uh, tweet 
in terms of an anchor about Adrian Peterson that Mikey did. <laughs> uh, by the way, I want to shout out Chris Perry. Uh, I believe he works for UPS. Um, good guys over at UPS delivers your mail on time. Uh, he joined Twitter just because of us. He said, we rock and thanks for all the podcasts. Not sure what I'm doing on here, but keep it up. So Chris Perry, we appreciate you listening and joining Twitter to interact with us. It means a lot. And uh, anybody else not listening, um, I mean, <laughs> not following us on Twitter and not listening, you can follow us on Twitter at Eat Sleep FF. We really do re- we really do respond to almost everything you guys do. We try. So we try. And um, sometimes if Dale can't get to it, um, he'll be like, hey, man, can you reply on Twitter, please? <laughs> well, so, and sometimes they're like, um, they're like trade questions, which like take a lot of thought and it's like, man, like, you know, I'm over here, you know, just, you know, burping the baby and I don't have time to think about, you know, and research exactly and give you a really good answer. And if I can't give you a good answer, I'm not going to reply unless it's about Tyrell Williams versus Devontae Adams. Then I'll tell you to Williams right. and screw Absolutely. up your whole week. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, all right. But definitely, I mean, if we base it off our listenership, we should have a lot more followers on Twitter. So yeah. go get a Twitter account, follow us, tweet at us, and then only use it for that. Nice. And for liking uh, pictures of, uh, damn, what did this guy do? Liking pictures of a porn star or something? What? Never mind. What are you talking about? The Never mind. Let's just okay. move on. Uh, yeah, 61% said they will vote on anything. 39% said they will not vote on Ooh, anything. Closing the gap. <laughs> closing the gap. All right, guys. Again, thanks for uh, listening to us. We will be back tomorrow. And uh, for Christian Brito, my name is Dale. Thanks for listening. And uh, I guess I already said all this. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Count Chocula. Yeah. Eat, sleep, fantasy. You rocking with the best. NFL fantasy football podcast. We talking mock drafts, running backs. Better follow the conversation with Dale, Christian, and Armando. Screaming, eat nation. We doing what we like. Tune in every week. Guarantee we get it hype. Fantasy football enthusiasts. I know you plan to be joining us on Eat, Sleep, Fantasy. Yeah. Eat, sleep, fantasy. Eat, sleep, fantasy. It's fall at JCPenney. Time to refresh your closet. This Thursday through Monday, get Levi's lowest prices of the season on 514 straight fit jeans for guys, $36.99. And select Arizona booties for her for $35.99. Plus, save an additional 50% off clearance prizes already reduced by 60 to 80%. And get an extra $10 off with your coupon. Hurry in now. JCPenney. Coupon valid 10, 5 to 10, 9. Levi's and other brands excluded from coupon. Clearance elections vary by store while supplies last. Savings off regular and original prices. Intermediate markdowns may have been taken. See store or jcp.com for details. Season refers to 927 to 1018. I never planned on losing my job, but losing my family's health insurance was an even tougher pill to swallow. So I looked into COBRA, but too pricey. Then I found out about special enrollment through Covered California, where I was able to choose from good health insurance companies I've actually heard of. I even got help paying for it. I had no idea someone was there for me, but Covered California really had my back. To see if you qualify or to find one of our local experts, visit CoveredCA.com. Covered California, it's more than just health care, it's life care.